opportunity, so it's great to connect this week. I think it's been, a, it's been four years since I've been at the conference, at uh, the Food Safety Conference. So 26 years ago, I started at 3M. I was an intern, and on a business trip in Kentucky working on post-it notes, that's one of the products of our company, and uh, was driving through one of the mountains, and I, it kills me to say it, but I drove the car off the mountain. Thankfully, there was a tree, and I, I had to go find a payphone because we didn't have cell phones at that time. And I called my supervisor, and uh, he started to talk me through. Okay, well, here's what you need to do. Here's your, here's what you need to call. And uh, in the background, I heard his wife say, "Ask him if he's okay." And in fleet, I can often find myself getting stuck in the minutia of data statistics and process procedure improvements, and I need to be reminded that people are behind everything that we do. It's the why behind what we do as, as fleet managers, and especially the safety part of what we do. Um, people matter most. So four years ago, our team, I just had the privilege of leading an amazing team through a project to reduce accidents. Our goal was to reduce accidents, and we took it through Six Sigma process and with Black Belt, so we went all out, and I can still picture our elaborate, we had a fantastic fishbone diagram with every potential cause of an accident, and we had to boil that down to focus on some priorities, and we had some wise counsel, and we focused down to two controllable factors of policy and communications. We did a lot of benchmarking. We relied on the NETS 10 step program to reduce crash risk. Um, if I were to highlight one thing, like Mike said, it's our fleet safety committee as part of our policy um, that reduced every single high risk driver case. Uh, so, with that, six months later, we went back and measured our results, and we had zero measurable improvement. Zero which was quite disappointing for our team, but we knew in our hearts, we believed we were doing what was good and right, both for the company, as well as for our drivers. Fast forward to this year, and again, Mike mentioned that in February of this year, we achieved a huge milestone after years of work um, of getting zero to zero high-risk drivers in our fleet, and we will maintain that. Um, and then on top of that, but we didn't see a measurable improvement six months after we implemented our change. Now we can look back and we see a slow and steady decrease in incidents per million miles. And we reduced those by more than 25%. Remember, that was my objective four years ago at the Fleet Safety Conference. How can I do what some of these other companies have done? Um, but we achieved that. So my encouragement to, to all of you would be to be patient continue doing the right things. It's not just you, it's not just your team and your company, if you're like us, it's also your fleet management company who's been, in, ours has been in lockstep with us, that we couldn't do it without them, uh, and as well. Um, and, it, and it's paid off, so uh, it's worth it, and maybe if I conclude with, if maybe someday you'll have somebody, one of your drivers call you up and say, hey, I drove the fleet car off, off a mountain. Maybe, maybe your response to them should be, are you okay? Your first response. So thank you.